Today I'm going to show you how to uh, install Webmin. Webmin, if for all the one that doesn't know what it is, Webmin is a very cool way to administer your uh, server or Linux workstation. Um, Webmin is a web-based um, management tool basically and you can administer a lot of things like the Apache web server, DNS or even more. Um, this video I will demonstrate how to install it so for that purpose we go to webmin.com and um, download the Debian package since I'm uh, demonstrating it on Ubuntu we're gonna use the Debian package so click on Debian package okay and then we save the file downloading here it takes a few seconds <coughs> well, it's not that big it's about 13.8 megabyte large that file so it should be done here in any second and when the download is done we are open up our terminal window and in my case I'm going to downloads and there is the Debian package. In order to install it, we go in our um, console window and use sudo and dpkg-i and enter the name of the package and press enter. Then we have to enter our user password. So now it is um, reading the database, installing the program, updating the debat database, all that fun stuff that you go through every installation with uh, a Debian based system. <coughs> so it's unpacking it now, which will take a few more seconds. And then we have an error message okay so it's missing a few packages here so um, one is the SSL package for per it's basically a few per modules that we're missing um, alright in order to install those we use sudo apt-get install and then enter the name libnet sslde a y dash per okay so it has a few other dependencies that won't install so we use sudo app get like the recommended um, step down here slash f slash in, um, install and then it will install all the dependencies and yes <coughs> so it's downloading all those per modules installing it unpacking and installing it okay and now I got all the dependencies now it's setting up webmin And then here are uh, very important information how to get to the uh, webmin interface. So in our case, we have to use that web address and log in as root with uh, the root password. Or as any user who can use sudo. So that we, which means we can log in as um, ourselves. So all right, let's open up our web browser again and then type 
type in the address HP localhost com 10 port 10,000 enter and then since it's using a self-signed certificate we have to basically tell them all right we don't care just add the exception get the certificate confirm it and then there's our login and then if we log in as ourselves we should just gain access and there it is there's your webmin when you start it up it will display short uh, system information here on the right hand side on the left pane you have um, various subfolders like the webmin we can do basic webmin configuration back, uh, backing up the files and so on the next one is system administration like conf com uh, change the configuration of the boot up and shut down or change passwords or uh, schedule a cron job and so on then we go down here to the server configuration then we can administer the Apache web server which is installed on that particular machine or the postfix mail server or Samba uh, Windows file sharing um, by default if you install it it will go through kind of a scan sees what kind of uh, services are installed and it will display it automatically here and go here to others then we can here administer HTTP tunnel or Perl modules or SSH login then we go here to network we can mess around a little bit with the network bandwidth monitoring or Linux firewall or the PPTP VPN client and then we have a hardware section we can um, change the configuration of the CD burner or the system time or printer administration then there's a, a cluster configuration um, menu and then the bottom one is the unused modules that's all the modules that won't show up um, on your webmin interface if you don't have it installed during or before the installation of webmin so we'll go further down then you can have a look here at your view model logs and uh, system information you can refresh modules and then you have the logout button all right